the footage that is emerging of the emasculation of a Ukrainian soldier near Severodonetsk by a Russian in a black hat, um, but also the fact that it is filmed, the fact that it's been circulated, the fact that it's received um, not only condemnation from Ukrainians and from Westerners mostly, uh, but the fact that it has also received praise in Russian circles is, I think, the clearest indication, if any is needed, that Russia's war in Ukraine is being pursued with severity, brutality, and beyond the basic limits of acceptable morality. Now, Russia and the Russians that I know are a proud and moral race. Uh, and the Russians that I know are uh, committed to religious belief, to moral values, um, and I would hope that they would rise up in force against the tyranny that encourages or condones this sort of behaviour. This is unforgivable, I'm afraid, and it is hideous and repulsive. It's the sort of thing uh, that one reads about in history. Uh, it's part of the being hung, drawn and quartered. It should have been uh, left in the history books in the 16th century. Uh, the fact that we are today witnessing something so demeaning, so brutal, so callous, so cruel, so painful, tells us that uh, this is a society that has moved backwards, not forwards. And uh, there is no way that one can give any credibility to those people who promote Russia's agenda, who promote uh, the, um, uh, an idea, who apologize for Putin, who promote an idea that in some way there is parity between Putin's thugs and Ukraine's soldiers. Uh, there is no way that we can give any credibility to these ideas that um, the people who have been captured are mercenaries and deserve um, improper treatment because they are mercenaries. No. If Liz Truss is serious about her bid for becoming Prime Minister, she must set uh, as her priority the um, a determination to get the release and the speedy release of Aidan Aslan and the others who have been captured and held because she promoted the idea of fighting for Ukraine in a mercenary capacity on the 27th of February. The fact that she then pulled back from that uh, doesn't exonerate her and doesn't excuse her in any way. She needs to take responsibility for what she said because, she, because her words are being used by Russian propaganda to justify the idea that there are mercenaries in Russia. I don't believe that uh, in Ukraine. I don't believe there are. I don't believe these people are mercenaries. But she uh, has fueled that fire and she needs to take responsibility. Then, after that, we need to make it abundantly clear that war crimes of this gravity must be, must be punished. And that anybody who condones it um, must be punished in the same way as anybody who commits it. We cannot allow this.